Yeah, man. Beautiful miles. Yeah, man. Really gorgeous. What What's the name of that one? It's called Heads Up, Seven Up. Heads Up, Seven Up. <laughs> what's What's the inspiration behind the title? Um, so I actually uh, wrote this for a group I was playing with a couple months ago, and um, there were seven of us, and uh, I was told to write a, a song for the group, and um, um, I just I was trying to figure out like, you know, a sound for all of us that works with everybody's voices and just, I kind of already knew them, all the musicians already, so it, it helped a little bit knowing that. Um, but the seven of us was like, it was like heads up, like these, cause these, the cats I'm playing with, like these cats are up next, like nice heads up, seven up. <laughs> yeah. Seven up, seven, yeah. seven next. Cool, <laughs> man. That's what's up. That's beautiful. Um, yeah, I, I definitely, when, I, when you're playing, I, I got the sense that this was something that, um, really lives well in a group right when you have the support of of bass and drums and um whatever the other four instruments that that i guess are in the group <clears throat> so you know th there's a lot of things we can choose to talk about with this so i, I definitely want to direct direct that your way in terms of what it is that is on your mind with this song specifically but from just a performance standpoint, from just like what you just presented here, um, it's something to think about is now that we don't have the bass, now that we don't have the drums, um, how can I convey everything that I mean to convey in this piece that I normally do with the group on just the piano, right? Um, what are things that I have to think about to make up for the loss of that bass or the loss of that drums? Um, and, uh, you know, it may be that like you, you, you listen back and you're like, no, actually, like, I'm cool with that vibe and that version of it, which is, which is cool. Cause it certainly was a vibe. I mean, I, even at the beginning, I thought the patience that you showed sort of that really slow, um, introduction, um, had really you know brought me in in a certain kind of way um and that's really beautiful when it comes to playing solo piano i i just always i'm, I'm asking the question of like is that how i meant it to to be or or is this just sort of the only way i know how to do it you know what i'm saying like if i if i was uh you know, if I, if I had all of the expression at my disposal, how would I choose to paint this song? How do I, how, what, what's, what am I really intending to do with this? It might be that listening back, you, you, you say, I really love the pace of my introduction. I really like that I'm starting in this slow rubato place, um, but maybe there's room for more material, whether it's harmonic, uh maybe it's maybe it needs more than just these two chords right maybe um i can take a different section of the song and explore using that as the introduction maybe that's that's the ticket you know sort of just stuff to be thinking about but the main thing is i, I don't want it to feel like we're ever um i i don't want to say not in control because there's always going to be a certain uh, amount of responding to the moment and you can only have so much control in the, it, it, when making music i suppose but yeah that all of your decisions that everything you're doing when you play this song on the solo piano is like yep this is what i mean you know this is what i really want to come across at this point it's not getting away from me i have i have the control if that makes sense just something to think about um but i, I want to ask you like what how did you feel about that what are things that you are looking to add to to that, whether it be the song itself and compositionally, um, or in the way that you're approaching playing it in this in this solo piano context, or even with the group, things that you might have noticed work and don't work, and things that you you know what what where are you at with this? What what are you thinking? Um, I think that I could have um, I guess narrated this better, like just like setting a better like. Um, I guess the, the the what I presented the story I'd, or the way or like it didn't it didn't go as like I would say as planned or maybe I just hear it differently now afterwards and I'm like oh uh, maybe I should have played I could play a lot better which yeah I could I think I could have but um 
I think, um, I guess getting away from, because I feel like I'm having to play like almost all the parts in a sense, which, because mm -hmm. um, I guess in my head I'm hearing it one way, or I'm hearing it with this group, or like, um, but I guess taking it and just like working on it from like the piano, like a piano perspective, and so I guess that I would I would do that, try to do that more. Yeah, dig man. No, I I can dig it. I I know that sentiment really well. I know exactly how that feels, and that that's a feeling you'll you'll definitely have for the rest of your journey, no doubt. <laughs> the other thing that I'll say is is again like all the answers to to these these kinds of things are, are in the music already. So finding examples of other cats who you think you know embody this expression um, and getting away from your own composition and your own playing for a minute and doing the work of saying like, let me, let me thoroughly investigate what they are doing. Cause I love what they do. And I want some of that for my, you know, in my own uh, musical DNA, you know, it's not, not that I want to sound like them necessarily, but I, what it is that they're doing to me, like what, what, how, how they're making me feel. I want to be able to make that, make my music feel that way too. So whether that's, you know, a cat like Robert Glasper, for instance, I hear, I hear sort of that Glasper influence in this, um, asking yourself then, okay, well, well, who, who did Glasper listen to, you know? Um, Mulgrew Miller, Brad Meldow, you know, Herbie Hancock, McCoy Tyner, and then, and then digging into that and, and spending time finding, you see what I'm saying? Like we, we end up sort of painting our musical history just just by exploring one person even one vibe one thing that that you're interested in um but but that's i think that's the work i think that's kind of kind of what what needs to be done